Intense fighting has taken place in the city of Havkiev in Ukraine. Maria Avdiva is in the city and is the research director at the European Expert Association and is with me now. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you for having me. I understand there's been heavy shelling in your city that started on Saturday. What happened? Well, uh, Russia actually invaded Ukraine on uh, last Thursday, so we are already in four days of this war. Uh, but yesterday the challenge was uh, extremely intense, so it was uh, going on uh, during the night, uh, and uh, the, one of the uh, rockets hit the residential building, building in Kharkiv, and uh, uh, we have lost it among civilians. And uh, after that, after the heavy shelling, uh, Russian uh, troops started to uh, enter the city on uh, in groups of uh, light military vehicles, like groups of four or five vehicles. And uh, Ukrainian forces uh, fighted them furiously, and there were street fights with the gunshots and the uh, shots and explosions everywhere. So the uh, citizens, the civilians stayed uh, in the shelters or at home and they were strictly uh, advised not to go out. Uh, so uh, about in three to four hours, uh, Ukrainian military managed to push back uh, Russians to their uh, previous positions, which are now on the outskirts of Kharkiv. So they're basically uh, uh, entering and attacking the city from the three sides. Uh, so they are now on their positions. The shellings continues. Today in the morning, they started to shell the city again with great uh, missile systems. Uh, and um, so we, what we are looking for is uh, we have information that today at 12 uh, in Belarus, uh, the city of Gomel, the talks uh, might begin between uh, Russia and Ukraine. So probably before that, there will be no major uh, attack of uh, Russian troops to uh, to get uh, uh, in the city because that is a strategic point, uh, Kharkiv, a strategic point for Russian troops. Do you hold out much hopes for these supposed peace talks? Well, not many, as the President Zelensky of Ukraine has said that uh, he is not waiting much from them, uh, neither do I, but uh, he wants, uh, and all the citizens here in Ukraine, uh, all Ukrainians, we want to have, uh, to use any chance possible to stop Russian aggression, because we do not want any more children being killed by Russian weapons, by, by Russian troops, and that is why uh, any possibility should be taken. Do you feel safe where you are at the moment? No, I don't, because that's a residential uh, building and uh, we have a, a basement uh, down uh, here. So in case the shelling starts here, I will go to the basement or to the nearest uh, underground station where people with small children have spent the whole day yesterday because they were not able even to go out. So, of course, you, you can go there, but uh, it, is, it is not safe because when you are and that Russia might start uh, showing, you know, with a heavy weapon, then uh, it might not uh, help being there. And also there, uh, the humanitarian crisis might start any moment because the, it's a big city, one and a half million city, Kharkiv. And uh, we have shortages of food supplies, of medical supplies, uh, and uh, that, that might also be the problem because now people are using the, some resorts that they had, but uh, they're running out of it. We do not have any fresh bread or you no know, dairy products, uh, that kind of uh, things. You've said you have no intention of leaving your city. Does that remain the case for you? I don't know. I will stay here because that is my home and I want to defend it. Uh, and uh, I feel that uh, that is uh, Russians who should go out. And, you know, Ukrainians getting more and more angry uh, with uh, with Russia because uh, we never threatened uh, Russia. We want, always wanted to be in peace with all countries. We wanted to go our own way to be free and independent sovereign country. And that's uh, what makes uh, Putin attack Ukraine. 
Ukraine now. Now he is threatening the whole world with nuclear weapons because yesterday he has announced that they, they are on the high alert. And now he is saying that uh, uh, they so that Russia should by any means uh, take control over Ukraine. And if this kind of weapons that are used now do not help, they will be using uh, much more uh, uh, much more uh, harder weapons that will cause much more losses among civilian population. So, uh, but but anyway, I feel that this is our fight, and we have to fight here for our land. I do not feel that I can this in this moment leave country because our soldiers, our officers are now here on the front line of fighting with the aggressor, and I feel that I need to be here and help as much as I can. How concerning is it that Putin has put nuclear systems on standby? Sorry, can you repeat please the question? How bad is it for you that Putin reportedly has put nuclear his nuclear systems on some kind of standby code? Well, apparently he is threatening West with that because I have seen his, uh, you know, bizarre meeting with his uh, two uh, top of, uh, uh, military officials uh, and with the, uh, the Minister of Defense and head of the general staff. He stays sitting at that huge long table with them, you know, sitting uh, in one end and he, uh, him in the other. And he said that uh, this is his response to the Western sanctions and to the how he said uh, the the uh, rhetorics that uh, harm Russia. So he says now that uh, this is how Russia is going to respond to the Western countries. He is threatening everyone. So he is not in the war with Ukraine only. It looks like he actually announced war to the old democratic world, and he is not going to stop here. And that is why. I think what we are doing now and what are our partners, international community is doing is very important because with all that support and unity uh, and the uh, severe sanctions on Russia, we show Russia and Putin himself that uh, he this this will not work this time. He will be stopped, and uh, no matter how how he threatens, uh, with what he threatens, uh, we will fight back. And he now sees that he cannot, uh, you know, get control over Ukraine. He said previously that he will take uh, uh, control over Kiev in two hours. Now it's already four days, and still they cannot do anything with their, you know, huge army. So that means that uh, it is possible to fight back and to show Putin what is his real place. Maria Avdeva, really appreciate your time. Thank you very much for joining me. Thank you. Thank you. My pleasure.